Hi you guys, in the last video we talked about different angle pairs that are formed when you have two parallel lines and a transversal, and it was just a vocab video. By the end of this video you have to know how those angle pairs are related to each other. And you know, like all teachers I'm going to tell you, but instead of just telling you, I thought I would also show you, I'm like, you know, bring in the receipts. So you can see that it makes sense. So. What you're watching me do right now is construct a couple parallel lines with a transversal on my Geometer Sketchpad software, which I think is like gone. I don't think you can buy this anymore. But then I put in a bunch of other points. Now look at this. I filled in the angle measurements for corresponding angles. Those 120 degrees, those are corresponding angles. The corresponding angle to the 80 is also 80. Flipping over to this screen, I still have the hundreds and the 80s on here, but I'm going to change that. And what do we want them to be? All right, so let's take a look at this. You'll see that there's only two angle measurements in this entire diagram with two parallel lines and a transversal. One of the angle measurements is 120 and the other one is 60. Well, so let's run through our angle pairs again. We just talked about corresponding angles. Those two are corresponding. These two are corresponding. So are these and so are these. And if you look, all the corresponding angles are equal to each other. The uh, alternate exterior angle, look at that. That's also equal to each other. And the, that other pair of alternate exterior angles are equal. The alternate interior angles are congruent as well. But the same side interior, those guys aren't congruent. They're not equal to each other, but look what they add up to. Okay, in this case, it's 180 because that's easy to do in your head. But what if it was like something, you know, a little bit more exotic plus that, boom those two equal 180. And no matter where I move that transversal, look at the 180 is not moving. Of course, it messes up where I placed all the other angles, but you get the idea. Grab your notebook. We are going to put all this information into your notes. Corresponding angles are equal or congruent. Now remember where your corresponding angles are. Here they all are that are on the diagram and they're color coded. So the yellows go together, the purples go together, and they're equal. Alternate interior angles are equal. Alternate interior are here. They are between the parallel lines, but they are on opposite sides of the transversal. So red is congruent to red, yellow is congruent to yellow. Alternate exterior angles are equal. There's one pair here and the other pair on the other side. This is the one that doesn't fit. This is the oddball. Same side interior angles add up to 180. There's two pairs of these, but both of them are going to add up to 180. If they're on the same side of the transversal and they are between the parallel lines, they're not equal to each other. One will be bigger and one will be smaller. All right, now if I take this green angle and just slide it down here, that's corresponding. So I know that these two are the same, but this is the proof of why they add up to 180. They make a straight line when you put them right next to each other. All right, let's look at a diagram and fill in. So if we start, you should be able to fill in all the angles on this entire diagram if I just give you one angle. If this is 100, then this guy's going to be 100 too because those are corresponding angles. Now, if this is 100, this will be 100 because these are alternate interior angles. Okay, so once you have this guy, you also have its corresponding angle down here, so you know that that's 100 as well. Now from here, we've got to use another piece of information. We make lines. So that means this has got to be at 80 degrees because 100 plus 80 makes 180 and that these two are a linear pair. Okay, so this guy's corresponding angle is right here. So that is also 80. This guy's alternate interior partner is right here. And this guy's corresponding partner is down here. 
So once you've got one angle, you should be able to fill in all of these. All right, find the measure of each angle indicated. All right, now we have to start working some problems. We'll start real simple. If this is 47, how big is this one? What kind of angles are those? They're corresponding. And that means that one's also 47. Easy peasy. Find the measure of this angle. This is 110, so how big is this guy right here? What kind of angles are those? Those are alternate interior angles, and we know that they are equal. Note how I'm abbreviating because I'm lazy and don't like to write out the full words all the time. I think your teacher would probably be okay with that. All right, number three. This one, 104, is down here, and I want to know how big this angle is up here. First of all, tell me what kind of angles those are. They're alternate exterior, and we know they're equal, so this is also 104 degrees. All right, find the measure of each angle. All right, this is the one I'm looking for down here. These two are same side. Now, same side angles are supplementary, which means they add up to 180. So in order to find this missing angle, you're going to need to subtract 66 from 180, and that's 114. So this angle is 114 degrees. And this guy, same thing. We are same side angles, same side interior angles. Take 180 and subtract 98. We end up with 82 degrees. I'm done being nice to you now. We must do the real problems. Here they come. All right, you had to solve for x. Figure out what kind of angles these are, how they're related to each other. Set up an equation and solve. These guys are corresponding. Remember how corresponding angles are related. They are equal. So we're going to take that and set x plus 72 equal to 70. Sorry, this isn't even that hard. I subtracted 72 from both sides and I got x equal to negative 2. All right, what about these guys? How are these two angles related? The one down here with the x plus 7 and the 100. If you said they're alternate interior, you are correct. That means they are equal to each other. Again, not an extremely difficult algebra situation here. So I'm thinking you've got the geometry. You should have the idea what's going on here. These things are either going to be equal to each other or they're on the inside, same side, and they add up to 180. But these two are alternate exterior. They equal each other. And even if you forget the vocab, you still should be able to do this problem if you remember. These guys are equal to each other. It's called alternate exterior. So we'll set them equal to each other, and we're going to solve this algebra equation. The way I like to do these when you have variables on both sides is I like to subtract the smaller of the x's, whatever those are. And this one is the 20x. So 21x minus 20x is just going to leave me with 1x plus 2 equals the 5, because the 20x and the minus 20x cancel. Add 2 to both sides. No, subtract 2 from both sides. Drink more coffee. All righty, x equals 3, and that's all we were asked to do. We weren't asked to plug it back in, but you always need to double check that in geometry. What kind of angles are these? Same side interior, good job. So the relationship here is that these two together have to add up to 180. So that's going to be the algebra situation that I set up. 9x plus 13 plus the 12x minus 1 equals 180. Now, we got to combine like terms and simplify because this is a little bit of a mess. So we have a 9x and a 12x. We have a 13 and a negative 1. You can't put the x's with the numbers. The numbers go together and the x's go together. So 9x plus 12x is 21x. 13 and a negative 1 is 12. That equals 180. I am going to subtract 12 from both sides. 180 minus 12 is 168. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 21. And we get x equal to 8. And I don't have to do any more with that. If you have a question about this one, because so far uh, this is the hardest question we've done so far, but there is a number 10. I don't think this is that difficult, but I just know I have some students in the past who would look at this and they'd kind of gap because it didn't seem like they gave them enough information. This is an angle. This right here is an angle. So you have same side angles. Or you could do this. 
and you'd have alternate interior. You can do all of these. These are all 90 degree angles. I'm pretty sure that equals 92. It has to. 22x plus 2 equals 90. You th probably thought I was going to go somewhere else with this and say this plus 90 equals 180. Well, that's true, but that's because this thing has to equal 90 as well. 90 plus 90 equals 180. In my brain, this just seems like a, a simpler problem to solve. So we'll subtract 2 from both sides, and then we're going to divide by 22, and we get x equal to 4. Guys, if you have questions on this one, leave them down in the comments below because you're going to see a lot of problems like this where they're going to put algebra with these parallel lines and transversals. Let me know if there's something else I need to clarify for you. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!